If we thought about time the same way we thought about money, we would probably be a lot more careful on how we spend it. <laughs> Don't you think? At least I think that counts for the most of us. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. 24 hours equals 86,400 seconds. Let's say that time is the currency on our life balance, like a dollar in your bank balance. Then 86,400 is quite a big deposit every single day. Let's say we sleep a nice eight hours a night. Then 28,800 will be withdrawn from our life balance, which causes a 57,600 seconds to be left. And on average, this is the time we spend awake doing what we do every single day. However, we experience negative events almost on a daily base. And these negative events have a bad influence on our balance in our life accounts. Oftentimes, these negative events are just little things, such as, for example, someone bumping into you when you are walking on the streets, someone who cut you off in traffic, someone at work who pisses you off, when you are waiting for an email you are expecting, or just waiting in general. We live in a fast-paced, instant gratification society, ladies and gentlemen. Waiting a few minutes just pisses us off, right? When we surf on the internet and a web page doesn't load instantly, we are tempted to go to another website. That's just how it works. And the waiting just takes a few seconds, but it probably pisses you off more than just a few seconds. This works as well for the other examples I just mentioned. Sometimes we hold on to those negative feelings for hours, or maybe even the rest of the day. Take the example of someone pissing you off at work. A rude colleague or a boss who nags at you can be pretty messed up, right? The negative emotions you are experiencing could really take the entire day. And this really hurts your life balance. You will spend a big part of that balance in your beautiful life account worrying, being stressed. And I know the key to spend it more wisely. That key, it's easier said than done because it all has to do with letting go. Letting go is so powerful, people. This season made me thought of it. Autumn, fall, it shows us the beauty of letting go. We can experience a lot more happiness every single day if we would let go more. But how, Wesley? How do I let go certain things more quickly in order to be happier, healthier and to maximize my life? Well, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Because first of all, it is very important to realize that stress is not causing change, at least not for the better. Instead of stressing, choose to breathe, breathe for a second. Breathing instantly lowers your blood pressure and it gives you the time to calm down. And when you are calmed down, you can ask yourself one question which determines the action you'll take. Ask yourself if the thing that's stressing you is within your control span or not. If you can do something about it, then take action. If not, let it go. Think about this. Choosing to let go is also some kind of control because you are in control when you are allowing yourself to let it go. This is powerful and sometimes letting go means we have to forgive which brings us to the second point and that is to forgive practicing forgiveness is magical and in this video we are talking not about uh, we are talking about not sweating the small stuff so of course some things are easier to forgive than other things but the little things ladies and gentlemen come on just forgive that person who bumped into you on the streets just Forgive that waitress who forgot about your coffee. <laughs> Just forgive that person who cut you off the freeway. It's not worth it to stay upset about such things. It's just not worth it. I used to get upset so easily. 
really. I could go mad when they forgot to add sauce to my order. <laughs> I could go mad if someone was a dick in traffic. I could go completely mad when things just didn't go my way. But hey, let me tell you a secret. Life will never be exactly how you want it to be. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. So change your focus. Remember, <laughs> remember that whatever you focus on grows. And this brings us also to the next point. Because if you will focus on the negative, you will be feeding it and then the negative will grow. Cut the weeds in your garden and feed your flowers, <laughs> my dear viewers. This regards not only the small stuff, but with everything. Focus on the possibilities for success and not on the potential for failure. Stressing about the small stuff won't make your life more successful in any way, shape or form. Focus on the balance in your life account and spend it wisely. Be grateful for every second you have and don't take life for granted. And that's another point I want to address right here because practice gratefulness, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the little things. For one day you may look back and realize they were the big things. It matters so much and I really want to emphasize this. Find ways to practice gratefulness on a daily basis and you will turn your life around for the better. Seriously. <laughs> the trick about practicing gratefulness the right way is not to be just grateful but to know why you are grateful for something. The more you understand what and why you are grateful for something, the greater your vision for recognizing other things to be grateful for. Being grateful for the small things also magnifies your gratitude for bigger things. Gratitude is a currency that we can mint for ourselves and spend without being afraid of getting bankrupt. This is so beautiful. What helps me a lot regarding practicing gratefulness is getting my butt right here in nature. Which is the next and last point I'll be addressing in this video. When I'm into nature, it's just me, myself and I. No distractions, only conversations between me and my thoughts. When spending time in nature, I'm not only enjoying the environment, the smell and the fresh air, but I am also reflecting, practicing mindfulness and gratefulness. The fact that I'm able to spend time in nature is something to be grateful for on itself. And not only practicing mindfulness and gratefulness happens here in nature, but because of those practices it will be easier to let go of the small things we are easily stressed about. When I'm in nature I'm constantly learning. Because, just to mention an example, here it's this place where I think about that person which I bumped into on the street, realizing that it wasn't worth, worth it to be so worried about. It's this place where I'm thinking of the person who cut me off this afternoon on the freeway, realizing it's not worth to waste my energy on that event. Because I spend time simply on reflecting past events, I learn how to deal with them in the future. Therefore, becoming a better human being and therefore becoming a happier human being. Get your butt into nature, ladies and gentlemen. We belong here. We are humans. We belong into nature. There's so much to enjoy and to learn here. We are meant to be here. And sometimes it is just it just gives me a weird feeling when I'm walking on the streets looking at all the houses seeing all those people watching television which is only trying to tell their vision all that bullshit on the television is reprogramming you that's why they call it a television program <laughs> ah, joking okay but there is a sense of truth in it however this is not something to talk about in this video because we talk today about the ways to stop stressing about small things so there you have it <sighs> may this video serve you well and I hope you enjoyed it 
that you learned something from it and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and to share this video with anyone who could possibly benefit from it. Peace out.